So whatever happened to the slogan, we can't wait? Congressman Kevin Brady from Texas is on the phone with us now. Congressman, whatever happened to that sense of urgency to create jobs in America right now? Well, apparently, it doesn't, <clears throat> apparently Charles, it doesn't apply if it deals with energy. I know the president's out there on the stump calling for more infrastructure spending. We've got here maybe the largest uh, shovel-ready project in America, a major investment, thousands of new jobs. But I think this is a case of he's playing politics uh, with our economy, and I think a lot of hardworking taxpayers are going to pay the price by not having this pipeline in place. Congressman Brady, uh, you mentioned energy, but it feels like it's the environmentalists who are uh, exerting all the pressure and getting the president to hold off on this. Yeah, it really is. I think, uh, you know, he wants to delay this project. The permits have already been delayed three years. He knows that he can look deliberative, but in fact, further delay threatens this pipeline in total. And so he's trying to appease is a very extreme environmentalist and making a choice of them over the economy and, and a lot of Americans that are out of jobs. In fact, this week, President's uh, own top jobs counter in America admitted at this job creation pace, we'll never get back to the level we were before the recession. So this is a huge dis disconnect between what he's saying and what he's doing. In the meantime, it looks like this stalling tech, uh, technique might actually work for the White House. I, I'm beginning to read where now uh, you've got uh, opposition maybe building in Nebraska, South Dakota, areas that you would think would welcome a project like this. Do you, do you think maybe ultimately uh, people may say, okay, let's not a big deal, let's not get it built? You know, no, I don't. I think at the end of the day, uh, uh, I think the interests of America are going to prevail. You know, obviously this is key to our energy security. You know, being able to produce and refine right here in our backyard rather than the mi Middle East, create jobs in the process makes, again, great sense. And from an uh, infrastructure standpoint, and as we develop a more and more of these oil shale uh, uh, potentials right in our backyard, you know, this is, in essence, a no-brainer for the economy and for energy. A no-brainer for the country and energy. Kevin, uh, Congressman Brady, uh, you couldn't end it on a, on a better note than that. Thanks for sharing some time with us this morning. Thanks, Charles. Take care. All righty.